Welcome guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. This time I'm playing a game called Universe Sandbox 2. Um, as you can see, this is our solar system. All the planets, there's no moons in this simulation, but... So. We're gonna see what would happen if I just killed Earth, alright? Well, not really killed it, but like... Um, I'm going to explode it with something. This is all um, no moons, it's just all the planets, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think, I don't know. I think there might be also, oh, there's also asteroids and dwarf planets, I'm pretty sure, but. So, let's take a look at Earth real quick. Here it is. Oh, would you look at that? How beautiful. Anyway, uh, now we're just gonna kill it. Um, so let's see. What should we use? I, I, I might use the moon. Um,. Or I could use, no, I'm not going to use star, that's like, just, no. Um, there's like, there's so much stuff to use. I can use a, ooh, baseball. Hello, baseball. Mm, actually, maybe not. Um, I don't know. Okay, you know, first let's just start by launching the moon. I don't know what this does, but I guess I'm just gonna have it like okay. So the moon is like this far out, I think. Like I don't know, probably like that far. Don't know. So what we're gonna see? Tom trails. So we're gonna speed up time a little bit. Oh, okay. That was. Um, Earth. Okay, 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 okay. That did not work. So I'm just gonna delete the, the moon and I'm gonna try that again um this time I'll just bring it like super close let's say that at this point oh wait that's probably not right um yeah I don't think the moon is supposed to be inside of the earth already but all right let's try this again um Let's just say that it's like pretty close to the earth at this point. Oh! Um, okay, well, let's take a look at the damage. Um, alright, wait, let me just wait for it to be day. Um, okay, well, let's, okay, wait, oh, let's start the timing. Okay, so I think it landed in North America? Yeah, it's like, um, oh, California died, ouch. Um, and, well, it did land there. Looks like most of the world is fine. Except there's one part off the coast of Africa. I guess there's, like, a fragment. Oh, also this place. Easter Island. I don't know where. I think Easter Island might be, like, there or somewhere. Like, around here, I think. Um, I don't know if it got hit in that, but it's cool. But that was not that great, you know? Oh, the Earth. Whoa. Okay. It doesn't seem like the Earth grew, but... It's definitely a lot hotter. It's 508 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. It's 530. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, wait. I think that if you push this, yeah. Now this is how it would... Oh, wait, wait. I should do this again, except it's just going to be like... Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to do this one more time. Except this time, um, let's do a battle between the two Earths. Earth and evil Earth. Who will win? Find out next time. No. Find out this time. Here's real Earth. Oh, actually, let's do Earth versus Venus. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that Venus is smaller, but I'm not 100% sure. And I want to find out. For a fact that Venus is smaller. I can't get this camera right. Yo, what? Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Let's just say that randomly another Venus appeared, and it was not that close. Okay. Okay. Why is there Demos here? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where? Where? 
aren't you supposed to be with Mars? But there's no, how, I didn't even, I didn't even place it down. It just appeared. All right, goodbye, sun. Oh no, what happened? All the planets are leaving. Bye. All right, now that that's done. Um, actually, how about I just do a new one? Let's take a look. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do, we're just gonna wanna put down an earth real quick. I just still, and then we're gonna have a Venus and we're just gonna launch it. Launch. Um. All right, let's take a look. So we're on earth, where is Venus? Oh, there it is. That is very big. Okay, I'm going to slow down time to like that much. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, what's going on? Oh, oh my gosh, that, that looks scary. Okay, wait, I'm just going to put down a sun so I can light this up a bit because right now it's really dark and I don't want, want it to be dark, so I'm just going to put down the sun just... Can I see? Um, kind of. What if I put two suns? Oh, uh, just another sun, just right there. That should work. All right. Anyway, let me just click the Earth again. All right. All right. Now that both sides are illuminated. Look at this. This is just the battle. Um, like, this is from someone in South Africa. Where is it? Where's Venus? Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, I want to try. And. Like, right here. Like, um, the Canary Islands, pretty much. Alright, this is like southern Morocco, pretty much. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, you would be dead. Ouch. Let's take a look now at this. Okay, that is just ouchies. Ouchie. Oh my, okay, wait, now I'm just gonna speed it up. I was only in minutes. Oh, oh, I guess Earth won. Earth is a lot bigger now, and uh, I'm just gonna delete the two suns, so then um, they won't capture all the objects. Uh, just take a look at this. Have any of the things become a moon or anything? Um, looks like the these things. What is this? These two fragments. Looks like that they're kind of safely orbiting the Earth. Don't know, maybe. Um, doesn't look like that they're doing anything with it, but. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm not sure how that happened, but anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna say that, like. So this is just, um, um, I'm gonna rename this to New Moon 1, Eel Moon, no, 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 New Moon 1, why does it keep doing Eel Moon, Eel, Eel Moon, nope, let's keep it, New, okay, listen, New Moon Ew, okay, you know, this is the ew moon one. Why does it keep doing that? I'm gonna try just clicking off. Get back on. Please, can I just make this new moon? New moon one? Okay, you know, let's just give it a new name. Uh, this. His. Why does it just or delete the first letter? Okay, wait, wait. If it deletes the first letter. Aha, uh -huh, I'm so smart. Why does it keep doing that? 
Oh wait, because I'm pushing back. So dumb. And then this one is. Oh. 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 So we have two moons. Looks like those are just like a bunch of fragments. And they just keep on colliding. I'm just gonna speed this up by like a lot. So like, I'll see over time if the new moon is still here. Oh! I don't like how sometimes it just does that. Um. Alright, let's try this again. Wait, there's orbits! Those are not orbits. How is the Earth's shape still? Okay. Um. What else could I do now? How long have I been recording? It's been tw 11 minutes. Alright, I'm gonna try and do a planet battle royale, maybe. Actually, no. Let's do a moon battle royale. Moon battle royale. So let's just put all the moons kind of near each other, um, and then we'll see which one wins. It's probably going to be Ganymede because it's the biggest moon, but I mean, you never know. Maybe, oh, that's small. Or maybe one of them will just somehow become very big, and one of them might become a moon or something, because there's a lot of small ones around here also. Iapetus. Sharon. Tethys. Namaka, such a small moon, and Ayaka, and hi Aka. Um, I could also do these ones, but actually, I'm gonna also include dwarf planets. All of these things. I don't know if all of these are dwarf planets, but a lot of them are. I'm pretty sure. Make Make, Homea, Sedna, Charlico. Um, Shoemaker Levy, he Hallie, Swift Tuttle, Apophis, 214 RC, 2014, 2016 thing, 25, okay, I'm just gonna put it all down real quick. Neowise, alright, there we go. Now, just gonna slow it down, and let's do this. Okay, we have our first collision. I don't know who that was. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Whoever that was, they just got eaten by Ares. And some th someone just, again, a mage just ate something. Oh, Make Make is gonna, co oh, and two asteroids. Ma okay, this is all okay. chaos. Oh, the moon's gone. Europa and Pluto is gone. Oh, oh, again, yeah, again, I made one, pretty much. Ceres and Clodus, Ceres and Enclodus are the only ones remaining here. Why can't I zoom out? Okay, there's so many fragments. Let's just take a look at the orbits now. Oh, it looks like everything is just... Why can't I zoom out that quick? Alright, well, it looks like that everything is just orbiting around Ganymede now. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to... Put the speed at. I'm just gonna put the speed to zero. And okay, this probably just do zero. And now the speed is zero. How? Oh, um, I guess it's just gonna increase like that, but that should be fine. All right, so we have some fragments going around it. Um. So many orbits around here. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at all the things that are just kind of going around it. Okay, so I'm, what I'm pretty sure about is that, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Can you like just, just, just like say, can we delete all those? I don't know, maybe you can. I think you can, but I'm not sure. Add transform search. Most of these I would just like to kill off. 
um, oh well, in any way, anyway, so obviously Ganymede won, but we have some fragments as moons, and that's something pretty cool in my opinion, I'm going to slow this down, so then we can see them, so this one, I'll call this, cool, then, it's also this one, this one's called bigger cool. So it's like almost the size of like food. It's almost a circle. A lot of these are just cool D D uh and this one's just this I don't know what that means, but something. Alright, this looks like it's a pretty stable orbit now. And everything else is just gone. And Cletius has actually escaped somehow. Um, a lot of the stuff has actually been able to escape, which is pretty cool. Now we're just gonna make. Oh, what was that? Cool! No, one of the cools is gone. Oh, come on. Oh, okay then. Oh, that's pretty sad. But Let's see if there's any more moons that have just arrived. Nope, it's still the same ones. By the looks of it, it looks like that they've been able to develop stable orbits. Still, the orbits all are all over the place, but so we can kind of see the orbits now. So we have and this one's like in a perfect circle now. That one is just wow. Hmm. All right. Well, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if it is actually stable enough continue on until everything's still there I want to just take a look at this thing which way is it going that's my question looks like it's just looks like they're all still just heading out this way yeah they are yeah if we click on Ganymede they're all just slowly leaving So I don't know why Enclidius is there, but oh, this is this is nice. This is just a stable orbit between Saturn, Saturn, Bigger Cool, and Cool D L W. The original one is left though. That's pretty sad. All right. Now onto our final one of the day. What if Ganymede became a planet? Cause I mean. I'm gonna make it to the solar system with the moons. Cause solar system, moons, solar system, planets, moons, and large objects. Okay, yeah, I'll do this one. This one could take a while to load, but chaos. Yes, you are correct. If you go to orbits, it's even it's just terrible. Um, well, I'm just gonna go to Jupiter, and let's find Ganymede on Jupiter. And what we're gonna wanna do, we're just gonna wanna speed up Ganymede. I think, oh, let me just search for Ganymede. Gan Ganymede here. Mmm, where? Oh, it's like in the center. I forgot the Ganymede's like one of these things. Alright, so the goal is to get Ganymede out of here. So the how to do that is we're just going to like increase the speed until it's like the orbit's just going to be. Yeah, like that, like that kind of way. Let me just decrease it a bit. Mm, a little more? Yeah. That should work. Alright, so now. Oh, now it's just going to. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I don't know if that just means. Is it? Oh wait, that's not what I want to do. This one. Where is Ganymede? Look like Ganymede's just inside of <clears throat> the the like just under all these moons. But the good news is that it is escaping from here, and it has a magnetic field, so 
It's it's a it's the biggest moon. It's probably I think it might be bigger than Mercury. I'm not sure. Uh, don't don't fact check me. All right. Well now Ganymede has left the thing, and now it's orbiting the sun. It's not that it's not going that quick on its orbit, but not really anything. Never okay. Okay, maybe this one's just a little too laggy for this. Solar system moons. Um, solar system, just the major moons. Because it's so laggy. If you. Alright. Alright. Let's so find Jupiter. Here it is. And Ganymede should be here somewhere. Yeah. Alright, now the plan is, again, the plan is, to make it so Ganymede can escape the Jupiter orbit. The Jupiterian orbit. I'm pretty sure that actually just this much should probably be enough. I think. Oh, yeah, it escaped. Alright. And now Ganymede is a planet. The only thing that I'm worrying about is what if it gets captured again by Jupiter? Cause the orbits are kinda close. I mean, I mean, like just this one part's really, this part right here is really close. It's so slow, really. Probably should have not done just major. I should have probably just done moons, or just major moons at least. Sedna's here. How long is Sedna's orbit? Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Oh, what is this one? One of them has a shaking orbit. It's Pluto. Pluto, why is your orbit shaking? Is that something normal? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that, like, Pluto's orbit sometimes intersects Neptune's, so then it goes, like, it's closer than Neptune to the sun. <coughs> um, I'm just gonna have it at 60 degrees per second. Come on. You can do it. The simulation is so slow. Okay. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do the planets. And this time, the plan is... That we'll just add in Ganymede as just um a thing. Which, what should we call it? One of those things. Ganymede. Just gonna orbit. Just gonna want to see. Oh wait, you can just lift it up like that. Pretty cool, dude. No, I didn't know that. That's not what I wanted to do, but. That is okay. All right. So this is just like the distance. So let's just say that it's just like that, like that. Yeah. And then where's the other Ganymede that I put in here? Is let's delete that real quick. Don't know if the music is too loud, but ah uh, hey. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Will Ganymede be taken away by Jupiter? Find out next time. Oh, it doesn't actually look like that. What am it looks more like Ganymede is just. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh. I thought that it was like. I thought that it was going inwards. I thought that Jupiter was Mars for a sec. What oh, hell? Oh! I don't know if anyone else saw that, but for like a second, Jupiter grabbed Jan. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. Jupiter is grabbing Ganymede back sometimes when they get close enough. And now Ganymede's orbit is just like weird. It's like tilted it, kind of. Oh! Jupiter shrunk its Ganymede's orbit. It might become one of the, the rocky planets. Wait, that's two four eights of, of Earth. Oh no, Mercury is still the, the biggest. Now Ganymede will be the smallest planet. 
Ganyme is the smallest planet from the sun. Is the smallest planet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um. Oh. And now it just pulled it back. But now it's kind of close to Saturn, actually. It's pretty weird. Oh, its orbit keeps on, like, increasing and decreasing. What oh, has Jupiter pulled? Jupiter's having such a big effect on it. I mean, it makes sense. It's, like, a pretty small planet. It's the smallest planet that's close to Jupiter. So Jupiter's obviously going to be pulling on it a lot. I really thought Orbo was just going to, like, eventually get to Mars, maybe. But no. Um, it looks for the most part that Ganymede's orbit, it's just fluctuating. I'm going to just chill out the sun so it doesn't shake too much. Look at all the planets. Their orbits are shaking. I didn't even know that. But Ganymede is shaking. Okay, yeah, Ganymede. Oh, I paused at a good moment. So, like, for, for, like, a little... Okay, that's just enough. Oh, it's back there. That's cool. It's just... It's, it's just there. Huh. So, what I have learned from this is that Ganymede would be a pretty good planet. The only issue with it is that Jupiter would sometimes pull on it. And Jupiter could turn it again into a moon again. Actually, I think that now Ganymede is completely stable, maybe. It's pretty close to Jupiter at some point. Oh, never mind. It got made it orbit smaller. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It gets so close to Mars now. Anyone else? That's so weird. Okay, well. Wait, I want to see if you could see Ganymede from Mars now at this point. here and just do that now if i look up at the sky um, what is that no that's not ganymede where would ganymede be it's probably it's over there yeah you could see it you could see even uranus at this angle <clears throat> oh okay that that's wait a minute da -da -da. okay i don't know if there's anyone epileptic but i'm sorry for that i'll put a warning at like the start of the video well, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's just it for now. <clears throat> Ganymede would make a planet. It, it would work as a planet. It would work as a planet. I mean, there's, there's not really anything else to say. I mean, sometimes, like, the orbit is just gonna... Um, 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 um orbit is literally like intersecting almost with um what you want to call it with mars's i want to try and find a point in time where ganymede and mars will be at like really close intervals and i want to see what would happen there oh it seems like they're just like just dodging it now like they're just making it so that they don't get too close, but they are still getting kind of close. That would be so big in the sky, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it looks like it's moving away, because they were, like, just intersecting before, and now Ganymede's orbit is moving away. It's pu getting pulled to... Oh, never mind, it's back. Okay. Pretty weird. It looks like it's just Ganymede is just being pulled. It just gets so close to Mars, and then it just I mean, Jupiter. Like you can tell, like every time that Jupiter, look at this, the orbit. Look at this, like just boom. The orbit is just growing. It just grows whenever it gets near Jupiter. Um, but then I think whenever it gets like a kind of close encounter or something, see, look, it just keeps growing. It's so weird and fascinating though. Look, it's just going to keep growing over time, and I think eventually it will be recaptured by Jupiter. But, it has been like 2,000 years. The solar system is shifting. Wait, Ganymede's... Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, okay. Eventually, Ganymede's orbit is... Okay, it was outside of Jupiter, and now it's inside again. 
So Ganymede would just have an ever-shifting orbit. Like, there's nothing you could do about that. But now I want to see... Okay, that's all I think it's supposed to be figured out. Still, Neptune is not going around the sun as fast. <laughs> it's just like a beach. It's like... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now Ganymede is like starting to come close to Earth level. And now that's close. I'm gonna slow stuff down like a lot. Also, I don't know how time went backwards, but that's fine. Alright, wait. Let me change to months. And now what I. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna just take a look at this real quick. Okay, so it would uh, it would get pretty close to Earth at least once probably, and Mars. So would it be the third, fourth, or fifth planet from the Sun? And no, 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 they would always have to change it. It's like an asteroid. I mean, it is a planet inside this universe, but. why it's doing that so its closest encounter with Jupiter is over on this side so it's getting pulled this side so that much makes sense. I'm just gonna speed this up just um more uh, I just want to see if anything interesting happens this whole time it looks like Mars's orbit is like a little bigger than usual but no it looks like that's a stable orbit now so can Ganymede be a planet yes I think they're probably already established. Oh, looks like the orb is shrinking. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!